foremost I wish 
and welcome to our nation and all the way, regardless of what they were from, that they got it. It's not any super, it's a long walk up to the mountain. I got to the sixth inch of the cross. This morning, I'm just over there. My voice and it was Jesus was so tired. It was a great people. I can find the pain somewhere. John 19 and John 20. Gospel of John 19 and 20. It tells us these stories. We just finished the Easter celebration. It's very precious on mine. Why do we dedicate that Friday? Every day we should dedicate to the Lord. But Friday is especially a very important day for us. That's why we Friday one day. Because we want to have those characteristic attitudes in the faith that the one day. Have those things. So that was a kind of a kind of kind of principle. Then this spread away the program for sharing the issue. How we move from the US to our and then here. Now, now the way is going to the US as far as the UCC. As we And have movements, all the people, the exits. I was fortunate to be very close to the negotiations of the Kampak Free Association, Kobo. My husband was working in the embassy in Washington, D.C. So the negotiations were done at the time, 1986. We knew at the time, we knew very well. That the exodus will happen. There will be a lot of people that will migrate to the US. Now, at that time, many of us didn't know that we are, uh, we can really move, get, get, get a job, get an education, all those things. Now, when the awareness is increasing, now the real position. When we expanded the medical coverage to all the global citizens, I can count on you. There will be more people because the most difficult thing because of my work with the churches outside is the medical coverage. No, there's no more difficulty because we are eligible for medical coverage. 2021. U.S. Congress approved that the District of Columbia and the, and the states of the U.S., 50 states, will allow all citizens to be eligible for Medicaid. Like your friend mentioned earlier, that these benefits were available, negotiated from the beginning, and it took time to Filter down to us. Why I mention these things? Because it's going to affect our ministry. So it's going to expand beyond our borders. So we're not going to be just focusing on one way to our mind. Spread out. Then go out. And then to Pompey, a 
has failed to open. 1882, Mr. Fletcher started the first uh, Bible study in Vienna in our first church in the That's why the president of our UCC teaching center is all considered. In 1882, that was 10 years after coming up with the American board for the mission missionaries. 1884, Ms. Anne Bonham, as mentioned in the report of the American board from Hawaii. She came and joined the sister apostle and Richard Lee strengthened the work of the woman. As you know, in 1890, the state took over in silence and chased all the American court missionaries, plus the women. And now for our faithful mothers, because they're the ones that continue. And we need the work of these ladies. 1898, 1898, the Spanish lost the war between Spanish and American war. So the Germans came and took over. So 1990, the American war missionaries came back. Spanish, the problem with the Latin, they don't want to be crossed. Missionaries here. That's why they chase all the missionaries and then they get out. So that's our beginning. We were, we were able to learn in uh, 1900. <coughs> Miss Wong came back with another thing called uh, Aida Foss. So they started the women ministry in you know, Oklahoma. It started small, but now it's into, you know, it's so big. Our organization, we have, uh, I would say national, but not the All this state, we have our national uh, executive, uh, executive committees, each company or each section have their own the president, vice president, and so forth. I would like to acknowledge and recognize our president of our national group and our brilliant and he's our representative of the general uh, council of the church of the This is uh, Red Bummer, Emmanuel Johnson. He's our president of the She's a representative of the church, also a representative of Yes. And of course, we have the vice president, the secretary, the treasurer, chaplain, and all those things. And in this organization, our women organization, we do have presidents for the company. Mariana's conference, our white conference. And it was in Congress. And then each section of what we also have for presidents and so forth. But these are national things that we, we work on the calendars, we work on the every Friday, we have the service, so we have to work on the lessons, and we work on all the plans and then distribute before the beginning of the here, all these things are already set for the upcoming year. So please bear with me as I go to the who are the beautiful, all the black, uh, beautiful, the ladies in black, it's, it's uh, a Friday one. Every Friday, we have a Holy Friday, a Good Friday, we have a special service. My brother,
brothers and sisters. I think so. We need to honor. We need to remember. And we need to well, meditate on the suffering. That's our passion of the wisdom, resurrection, and the new life. Without really feeling, without really appreciating the suffering. on that Friday. That's when and trust the Spirit to respond. That's why Friday is so important to go on your own. Maybe we should call ourselves all of them. All of them. In this one year, let's use this year as a Friday one. This is the reason. Thank you. 
So I will go ahead and uh, also show my respect to the women leaders of the UCC and the reports from the two other women representatives, NCAA and UCC. to 